four thirteen personnel with one running back and then three tight ends. And uh, they ran nine plays from 13 personnel, six of them being run plays for 75 yards and a touchdown, uh, 55 and a touchdown coming here on the inside zone of Tyler Goodson. Uh, the Nebraska linebacker here is going to get a little too aggressive and get caught in the wash. Uh, and then Nate Weeding is going to have a good seal on the backside, and Alaric Jackson is going to uh, block down and uh, create a, a cutback lane for Tyler. And we're going to see the vision for Tyler right here. He sees the cutback lane and he hits it. And he picks him up and puts him down and he shows the ability to make somebody miss in the open field. He's been doing that this year uh, plenty of times and then he wins the race to the end zone. I really like what Iowa did with 13 personnel this week. Iowa struggled to run the football yesterday and uh, this play stands out as one of their best. They're in 12 personnel here with one running back, two tight ends, with Sean Beyer here and Nate Weeding here. They're running a zone counter, their offensive line stepping this way to the left, the defensive line for Illinois is moving with that, as well as their linebackers. Tyler's been compared to Akram, and Akram uh, Wadley uh, ran the counter uh, very effectively, and it's no surprise that I was using Tyler on it here as well. And uh, you'll notice here that um, for Iowa, um, Tyler did a good job of still making somebody miss and getting out to the first down. So he's able to put his foot in the ground and get up the field, but the spin move there, instead of a five or six yard gain, it turns to be a, a first down. Credit number nine, the linebacker for Illinois for getting off the block and making the tackle too. Sometimes you just have a special player that can make special things happen, and here's an example. Tyler Goodson, able to make something out of not a whole lot. So you see a defensive lineman here for Minnesota to defeat a block, uh, but the ability for Goodson here to plant and bounce, defeat him with a stiff arm, speed to the outside, and then the contact balance here is really a, uh, impressive here by Tyler. This defensive back's going to try to throw a shoulder into him, and that's just not going to work. He's too strong for that. And credit Amir Smith Marset for competing uh, and blocking long enough to affect this defender. By the time that he is able to defeat the block, he's too tall to, to make a tackle, and Goodson just finishes this run. Um, 15 is an impressive young talent, true freshman. Here's another good run out of 11 personnel and shotgun for Iowa here. One running back, one tight end. Um, this is a gap play. Uh, we'll see here, uh, Bayer will go in motion um, over here to the, to the right. But a gap play, it's different than the zone plays. Um, zone plays, you know, whether it's inside or outside, you're seeing guys move together. But um, now, you see the left tackle blocked down, the left guard blocked down, the right guard pulls, and then once Bayer comes over here, he also pulls across over here. And once Bayer comes over to the right, watch this safety. He comes down with the motion. So, now before the snap, you see that the run blitz is coming and we do this right now for this play to go to the boundary the boundary is the short side of the field over here this would be to the field over here but this play is designed to go to the boundary and for uh, a running back to process this as rapidly um, as Goodson did um, I don't know if he saw the safety coming down um, pre-snap with the run blitz, but he rapidly processes this. And to be able to mentally process this at this speed and to know the scheme and to know where the cutback is, that's a pretty special thing to do. And for him to have the ability here to be able to get up the field quickly, put his foot in the ground, and then get upfield again, um, that... Um, it's such an, an impressive play. Here, Iowa's going to run the split zone. 
uh, on a split zone, the bulk of the offensive line steps in the same direction. And it has um, the tight end work across the flow of the formation and kick out an unblocked force player. Uh, in this case, the guy on the edge here is the outside linebacker for Wisconsin. This play will be a little bit different, and I'll show you why. Uh, on the front side of this play, you have Wirf step to this uh, stand-up outside linebacker. You have Linderbaum and Schott work on this defensive tackle. Linderbaum then works his way up to the second level. You have uh, Paulson here. He'll take care of this defensive tackle, or this defensive lineman. And then you'll have, uh, because of a run blitz here by this inside linebacker, Alaric Jackson will be the guy who blocks this uh, stand-up uh, force player. And then Byer's going to come and try to block this uh, inside linebacker on the run blitz. And the front side of the play's here, but where plays are made on split zone are on the back side B-gap, which just so happens to be where this run blitz is coming. And Tyler Goodson does a really good job here of seeing that run blitz. He processes it. He plants and bounces and plants and bounces and gets upfield and he shows the ability to carry the ball high and tight. Uh, this is a winning football play. So you see right here, plant and bounce. Gets upfield, plants and bounce, and he carries the ball high and tight, gets a six yard gain, keeps Iowa ahead of the chains on schedule. This is a winning football play. Iowa ran the ball for 23 attempts, I believe, 87 yards. This is one of their good runs.